a creamy three cheese risotto. And making risotto is a pretty simple process in theory, but in practicality, it's, it's, it just takes a long time to make. You start out with a short grained Italian rice called arborio. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by sauteing this rice with shallots and a little bit of olive oil. And the reason you wanna saute this is it kind of gets the rice ready to receive the stock. In this case, we're going to use chicken stock. You want to get nicely coated, nice coat of oil all the way around all of the rice. Kind of cook the shallots a little bit to get them translucent. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly add chicken stock to this until it's absorbed. We're going to finish it with a little bit of cream and then our three cheeses. The three cheeses I chose today are mozzarella because mozzarella melts really nice. It's going to give it that nice creamy texture. Parmesan cheese, because I like the salt and the sharpness from the Parmesan. And then a little bit of Swiss cheese just to kind of mellow the whole thing out. Um, to that, other than that, we've got a little salt and pepper in it. So, we're working our, our um, risotto, or our arborio rice, which will become risotto, in the skillet. We can add a little bit of black pepper to it. You don't want to add salt to it yet. You want to actually finish with salt because most of the cheese has so much salt in it. Okay, once that's ready, we've got chicken stock that's simmering over here on the edge of the stove. And we're just going to slowly incorporate in the uh, chicken stock. You want to just initially keep it covered. You can see that there's a nice coating of liquid over the top of the rice. That's where you want to keep it. And this, you're gonna keep adding stock and keep stirring, and this is gonna take about 20 minutes. We'll eventually add probably about a quart of stock to this, and there was about a half, about a cup of uh, uh, arborio rice. Just keep it moving. As it absorbs the rice, add a little more stock. You can easily make this vegetarian by using vegetable stock. You can use um, it really any liquid that you think would flavor the rice nicely. Um, and now, as I said earlier, we're going to take about 20 minutes of adding the stock and keeping it nicely covered. So we're going to turn to just kind of pay attention to this right now. We'll come back and we'll add a little bit of cream to it. So it's been about 20 minutes now. The uh, rice is a little al dente, kind of sticking to your tooth a little bit. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add our cheese to it. That's going to help thicken everything up and it's going to add our flavors to it. So as I said earlier, we've got Parmesan cheese we're going to add. I've got some grated Gruyere and mozzarella cheese. All that's going to go in. Stir this in. It's going to really start to thicken up now. It's still absorbing liquid, which is fine, that's what we want. All this liquid will get absorbed, and the last thing we're going to add is just a little bit of uh, heavy cream to it to balance out those final textures. We'll give it one final taste with a little bit of salt, and this will be ready to serve. A little touch of heavy cream. So what we have here is a creamy three cheese risotto. Be a good base for any dish. You can put some nice roasted, uh, some kind of roasted meat on top of it, chicken or roast beef or something like that. Nice three cheese flavor, but you can easily alter the flavors. The process of making the risotto is the same. 
but a three cheese risotto, creamy risotto.